okay. That that's 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 um yesterday I got uh an email and um I this is potentially like for me and myself this is good news. I have been going through hell for the past uh two years probably. Um, with headaches, eye pain. I'm going to explain more things in depth in a second. I just want to let you guys know how, how my life was structured. So before these two years, I was a little bit of a party guy. I was going out and I, w I was kind of like going really crazy, really crazy. And then uh, I, I became sick uh, through whatever. Uh, I It's still being discussed on how it actually, how this stuff happens. And I'm going to explain it in a second. Um, and I became sick. I had eye pain, frontal, low pain, everything. It was just like so hardcore. It started off with a sharp, uh, like a knife stabbing feel in my head, in the middle of my head on the right side, like somewhere along those lines. And it became worse and worse and worse until it reached its height, which was about six months in or so. Uh, I had such strong eye pain. My eyes were feeling filling with pressure. There was a lot of blood, like I had a lot of bloody uh, eye spots and stuff like that in my eyes. And um, living was very difficult. It, it went on to my psyche uh, a lot. I uh, had to stop basically my entire life. I was working uh, a job uh, down, like I was working at the dog selling like food and stuff. It was like a food truck situation. I really enjoyed that job. Um, but everything, it completely ripped me out of my entire life and I became so sick that I couldn't work, I couldn't do anything. So, um, yeah, that's basically what happened. And um, I went to doctors, I went to about 40 different doctors and most of these doctors here in Germany, they had no time and they just quickly were like, they weren't listening. Nobody was listening. Literally nobody was listening and I know that there's a lot of people out there right now that might actually have this issue where they go to doctors, they're chronically ill and nobody listens to them. And for those guys, before I get into my head stuff, because I did get a diagnosis after two years of uh, running in the dark, uh, I finally got a diagnosis and I can finally get a surgeon to take a look at it. Um, for the people out there that go out there, then they, they know that they're not psychosomatic. For me, in my head, I said, I'm not crazy. I'm not like there were doctors that actually uh, talked to me and said, bro. Well, they didn't say bro, but I'm just going to say it in my language. Um, Dude, you are imagining this. Try this medication. Try that way. Try this therapy. Just basically money making stuff. You know, I'm not going to go into this conspiracy theory stuff and stuff. I'm uh, not that type of guy. The only thing that for me was important was that my my pain was there and it was so much. It's so like it's there right now. Like it's a lot. The The magical and amazing thing about pain and the body is that the uh, the, the body kind of adapts to it in a scary way. So I have the same pain as two years ago or one and a half years ago. Um, but the thing though that changes, like I know it now, I'm, I'm very like this, this has been like um, my pain is constant. So sometimes I have better days where it's not so much. I just never have days where there's nothing. There's pressure behind my eyes and inside of my head that's absolutely wild. So let's talk about the diagnosis. Yesterday, I got an email from my neurologist, which is, by the way, a great, great doctor. This is the only doctor that really tried to do... He d he put me on like a testing monkey on every single test. He, he thought, let's try various blood tests, checking if you have some sort of sexual disease uh, of course that came back negative uh, they've tried uh, different things like uh, you know like your body creating these pains and stuff everything came back negative and then he said mm, interesting so let's go the route and check your nerves and see if something's wrong with your nerves uh, so I got uh, different medications uh, for nerve damage so to speak so for about half a year or so I thought that I had nerve damage in my head but I wasn't really sure how I got it because the only thing I could really recall was that before I got sick uh, in the same time I was very uh, I, I had a, like a really strong flu I also had COVID twice so I wasn't really sure if it's connected to that or so but yeah so I thought about like I had six months that I had something was wrong with my nerves because I've done a CT scan and a CT scan usually just shows your brain uh, your uh, your bones 
So all of the the squishy parts, like the brain and stuff, stuff like that wasn't shown. So they just wanted to rule out things like cancer and all of those things. And thank to the deer above um, that, uh, yeah, cancer and stuff was ruled out. So I was quite happy with that, which kind of took the ease, like the eased me a little bit, made me a little bit more calm and collected, which I, I mean, I still had pain, but I, I was I was all right, you know, and um then uh, I went to different doctors. Like I, I went to this one doctor, but I, was, but I was like, I need more. I need more second thoughts and stuff. So I went here. I went there. Did another scan. Did this and that. And when I got to this good doctor now uh, that I had, he, he, he wasn't, he wasn't gonna let go. He wasn't just gonna go like, okay, we do this one scan. Uh, psychosomatic. For the people that don't understand what psychosomatic is, uh, psychosomatic is if something's not right with your either mentality or with your body. Um, you know, pains can be created you know your body is a, the body is a crazy mystical thing so for me personally i said i'm not crazy but obviously people that have psychosomatic um pains they're not crazy i j- just want to make that clear but for me in my head i knew because i was fine for th- 27 28 9 years so somewhere along those lines i was okay so it's like it's it doesn't fit my it doesn't fit my schedule it doesn't fit my head that i'm suddenly psychosomatic so i kept pressing and i went to doctors 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 psychosomatic psychosomatic i went to the biggest clinic to the biggest uh thingy in hamburg in germany psychosomatic try to go here try to go there i went to this um place where you had to fill out a huge bag of papers and they said well i don't think you have anything rare you should go to a neurologist and i was waiting for four months to get in there i went into the hospital uh, I went into three different hospitals and all of them said, psychosomatic, you're not a case for our hospital. And I was like, no, no, I'm not going to accept that. I stuck by it and I said, no, 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 no. I'm not, I don't have psychosomatic stuff. I have lived through worse. I've, I, I, I build a very strong ego. I know I don't have it. It doesn't feel like psychosomatic because the pain is so freaking heavy on my eyes and my face and it moves and people couldn't understand. And I was like, what do you mean it moves? Sometimes it's the right eye. Sometimes it's the left eye. Sometimes it's my jaw. Sometimes it's my temples that hurt or the back of my head. And people couldn't understand it. So I met this doctor that I have right now. I'm trying to cut to the chase here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, And he did a lot of, like I said, a lot of tests. He did hepatitis. He did this. He did that. uh, Just to see if there's anything that could potentially influence this. Because I was a party guy. I was out a lot. Um, You know, but then, again, I couldn't find anything. So he said, you know what? Let's do an MRI scan with contrast. Uh stuff so how that works is they they will put like a needle in your arm and there's like some sort of a fluid uh in the last five minutes of your mri scan of the head Uh, i've done a ct like i told you i've done a ct but i haven't done an mr mrt in germany it's called mrt but i think it's in english it's mri i'm not really entirely sure um but they've done that with the contrast um fluid that they put into my head and uh, three days ago, and I don't know why anybody else has, has thought of this. Three days ago, uh, they messaged my neurologist and they said, hey, take a look at that. There's something that is uh, overly large in your brain. And there is some something that could definitely cause pressure and it could definitely cause uh, the symptoms that I've been talking about. And I'm going to go into this a little deeper now. Um, so it is called a cavum verge cyst. Uh, for the people who don't know what a cyst is, it's something, there's like good cancer, there's bad cancer, there's stuff that can grow that is good or bad because the bad stuff can like eat away and the good stuff basically just exists in the wrong possible place. So there's a very rare case that when you're born as a child, because you have two parts of the brain, you have the left part and the right part. And right in the middle of this part, when you are born, this is where like a little bit of a cave kind of exists. But when you grow up, it kind of folds together and there is no free space. It's a very rare. So in very rare, 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 super rare uh, situations, uh, when you were born, this, this, this cave, 
stays there and that's where a cyst can form in there because in that area that's what my neurologist told me in that area this is where the brain fluid is being created so for the people I know it sounds a little bit disgusting but that's what we all have the brain creates uh, brain fluid that goes through the spine up and down what exactly what that brain fluid really does I'm not so sure yet because this is something new that I'm kind of reading through here but I have a cyst right there where that brain fluid is being are created and a cyst basically is like a bubble that fills with water with the brain fluid basically and it enlarges and the bigger it gets the more it presses onto specific nerves and in my case it is the trigeminal nerve that is there to um, moisturize or at least not moisturize, but there are, there are nerves around here that are supposed to moisturize my face. You can't see it right now, uh, but usually because I cream it, I put stuff in there. I don't know if I get close if you can see it. There's like, yeah, you can see it. Uh, that it, 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 You see that this part is much redder. I, I, I have a specific setting on my camera, so you can't really see it that well. Um, but I, if you see me in real life, you see like a triangle here that is just really, really red. And um, yeah, uh, there's a nerve blockage due to that cyst. Probably, I'm not. It's not a hundred percent sure yet, but it's definitely, definitely something that goes. You know, that explains why this could happen. Because I've had so many scans done, so many tests, and everything came back, dude. You're fine, which I obviously wasn't. That's why they thought it was psychosomatic. Um, but yeah, anyway, so there's a cyst in my head that, and my neurologist said he has never seen one as big as mine which you don't initially want to hear from your neurologist because he's like experienced. I don't know, he's like 60 or 70 or something like that. Uh, like, nah, not 70, like 60, uh, mid of 60 or something. And he's been a neurologist for a long time and he says, well, dude, yeah, it's a pretty big cyst. Haven't seen one like that in my entire career. So I was like, oh, wow. And I Googled it and he also told me uh, the rarity of what I have in my conditions with the cyst in my head is uh, 0.1% to 1% of uh, the entire population. That's how rare it is. It is super, super rare. And that's why people were just not schooled in it. But he didn't want it to rule out that MRI, MRI scan. And I'm absolutely thankful for that. Anyway, so I have a cyst in my head, which right now he says it's not life-threatening but it can cause some serious complications cysts are very mysterious they can grow larger they can go smaller they can do this they can do that they can cause all sort of weird symptoms and um yeah they have to get they have to drain it so what they do is they probably go through the back of my head they don't like go through the skull here uh, but they go through the back of the head somewhere with a very microscopic needle and they go into that cavity, into that into that uh, cyst and they drain it. I think, I don't know, I think they slice it or something, but they have to drain it. Obviously, I will be sleeping when that happens and uh, the entire thing is like, uh, I, I think it was said that uh, you, you, uh, an entire, like, it's painless, but you have to stay in the hospital for, like, three days or so, um, and yeah, I'm gonna take you guys on a journey with me, uh, you, I will take you to the hospital, I will find ways, even if I have to film it with my phone, uh, I will find ways to, uh, show you the entire process, uh, I know that this is a Roblox channel and I love gaming and I love, you know, making these videos for you. But in this case, I really want, uh, you know, st some people that are in the same situation as me to stand up and do not give up. If you think you know your body best, if you think something is wrong and a doctor says, now you're just imagining that I want you to fight. I mean, of course, that might be. <clears throat> what was that? Of course, of course. Uh, of course, there might be some situations uh, where, you know, your brain doesn't fully function properly and that could give you pain. I'm not going to say that you have to rule that out immediately, but I was, I just know my body. I know something wasn't right and I still have another issue, another chronic issue with my lower part of my body. I have a lot of pain in my lower belly uh, that has to be fixed as well, but yeah, they found a cyst in my head, and that is something that needs to be taken care of. Um, and I gotta tell you, I've been running around uh, for two years. Like, people have asked me already, aren't you, like, kind of, like, anxious about it or something like that? But I've been running around with this for two years in the dark, 
thinking that it might be cancer, thinking that it might kill me any day, you know, so that made my mind so tough that I could take that needle right now and stab it into the back of my head and get rid of that, you know, I'm like, that's how far I, I, I could go, like, I don't care anymore, uh, pain teaches you, especially over the course of two years, something that so many other things can't teach you, you, you will become a different human being and it will alter your mind. You will change yourself, which is, in my case, a good thing because I was uh, somebody that was very uh, unstable, you know, in my life. I was a very, you know, that's a different topic. That's a different topic. But if you enjoy me talking about this stuff, about my, how my life went and stuff, uh, just let me know because my ego is that big. I could talk about myself all day. Anyways, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Um... This is a diagnosis that I've been looking for for two years. Uh, a huge weight just fell off my chest and I'm like, oh, that's that's good. That's good. Of course, yeah, a needle in your head is probably not the coolest way of doing things, but i rather take that instead of like bad cancer or something. So I'm cool with that. Anyways, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.